Hi guys, how's it going? Um, what is up? Uh, so this week I bought myself the new Osmo Action from DJI. I had a GoPro a few years ago, but I didn't really use it. So why have I bought myself an Osmo Action? Well, a couple of reasons. The main reason is we are building a house at the moment and I wanted to shoot some time-lapse footage of the house being built, of walls going up, roofs going on, that kind of thing. Now, you do get dedicated time-lapse cameras, and once you can sell outside, they're completely weatherproof, you leave them outside for months at a time. The main downside of those cameras is they are only 720p, um, so not even full HD. Uh, so I had looked at getting another GoPro, or a GoPro session, or something like that, that better resolution, something I can leave outdoors for a shorter period of time, um, and capture a time-lapse of the various parts of the house going up. And then last week DJI announced the DJI Osmo Action and it seems like a really really great camera. Now I'm not a you know, super skilled video maker, I'm not a, you know, going to use this loads, um, but it, it seems like a really really good camera. It seems to be exactly what I've been, what I've been looking for. Um, however one of the main limitations of the Osmo Action, as with any action camera for, for kind of time lapse or anything like that, is going to be the, the limited battery life. So I've done a couple of tests with it doing various things. First test was I just put it out, fired it up a time lapse and let it run and actually it ran for a couple of hours before the battery died and I did get a, a fairly decent time lapse out of that. Um, I then realised I had a battery pack in the house, um, an external battery pack, so I thought well I'll hook the Osmo up to the battery pack and do another time lapse uh, and let it run uh, and to see if that worked, to see if it would work and it did work which was great. So um, the Osmo Action has a 1300 milliamp hour battery um, which like I say lasted for a couple of hours on its own doing a time lapse. I have a 2900 milliamp hour uh, battery pack which I can hook up to the Osmo Action and that in theory should give it um, sort of six, seven hours battery life, which would be great. It's been great trying it out and testing it this week. The weather's been super, it's been, it's been warm, it's been sunny, it's been dry, but it being Northern Ireland, you can't always guarantee that it's going to be sunny and dry. Uh, more likely than not, it's going to be wet and windy and rainy. Although the Osmo Action is waterproof, for me to hook it up to the external battery pack, I've had to take the removable uh, door off at the side so that I can you know, have it powered. That obviously means that it is no longer weatherproof. Well, the plan is I have got myself this resealable plastic box and I am going to put the Osmo inside there, cut a hole for the tripod mount so it'll be inside its case um, on, a, on a tripod thread. Uh, I'm going to cut a hole or drill a hole in the bottom for that um, and then cut a hole somewhere for the lens to show through. So let's give that a go. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the Osmo Action into its case. Close that up. That is on a tripod mount. So I've checked beforehand and this box will accommodate the Action and the battery together. So I'm going to put it in like this. And um, So what I need to do is mark where I need to drill a hole for the Tripod thread. So that's from the drill the hole. Time for the part holes. Excellent. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mount this in here so I can work out where I need to cut the hole for the lens. So I'm going to cut a hole out there roughly and see how we go. Just as well, I don't need this table. 
Now this really seems like a stupid idea. I'm not one that's good with power tools, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well that completely smashed the box. Okay, so it turns out if you use a jigsaw on a plastic box, it will smash the box. So back to the drawing board. Okay, take two. Saying the jigsaw completely smashed the last box, um, I'm going to try with a different box. It's slightly bigger, so um, it should still work, but we'll give it a go um, and see how we get on with this one. Okay, well, saying as last time, the jigsaw is too powerful. This time I'm going to use a pair of beard scissors, so hopefully that's a bit better. What do you know? Beard scissors are working first time. I should have thought scissors rather than jigsaw to start with. I'm going to put a bit of insulating tape around this so I don't cut my fingers putting the camera in and out. And now we have a slightly more battery door off weatherproof situation to allow me to have an extended life on the Osmo action. So, uh, so yeah. Now I know the uh, Osmo action is weatherproof, um, but like I said, with the battery door off, there's more chance of some heavy rain or, or a lot of bad weather that water could get in there um, and damage the camera, which is why I've made these modifications. Um, so now that I've done that, let's have a, have a look at it and uh, hopefully uh, you can see how this is gonna work. So we can see the uh, camera inside the plastic box. The lens is just kind of protruding out a little bit. And in here we have all the connections and everything there. So they're all kind of nicely sealed in away from the elements. So yeah, hopefully this will, will keep the elements out and allow me to keep doing time lapses and stuff of the house build, even in bad weather. So yeah, check back on my YouTube channel for any um, time lapses that I might make from the uh, Osmo um, in its weatherproof case or not. Um, if you like this video, hit like. Uh, if you want to see what else I got up to vlog-wise, stuff with the Osmo, um, subscribe. Um, and uh, uh, if you have any questions about uh, the Osmo or what I did there, kind of making that housing and anything like that. Uh, give me a shout, leave me a, leave me a, a comment uh, and ask away and I'll try and answer any questions. Great, uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching uh, and I will see you in the next vlog.